Hello, Tube Ubers. Welcome back to my channel. So this is it. This is the wonderful reveal. I told you all that I had made a set of challenge number eight because this is a cool set to make. It really is. I hope you enjoy this because I had a fun time. So the very first time I make a challenge set, a card challenge set, I always make it exactly the way that it is printed. Um, so this is my Halloween set. I have made them exactly the way they were printed. I made card 16 like five times. So you saw four of them already. And this is the fifth time. Or actually, I think you saw this card, but it hadn't been decorated yet. So here you go. So every time you get a card challenge, you get the A. And you see, usually there's a little pair of scissors somewhere. I think the scissors were here. But my printer's doing weird things. So here's a pair of scissors, see? And um, you always get the arrows that show you which way the paper should go. So if there's arrows going in all different directions, then you need to get a unidirectional piece of paper, you know, one that doesn't have, has a pattern all over it. This one, you can use unidirectional paper because all the arrows are going in the same direction, okay? This one, the arrows are going in all different directions, so unidirectional. This one, all the arrows, well, except for these guys, are going in, you know, the one direction. So there you go. So there's all of them. This was a great piece, a great pattern. So here you go. You get 17 cards out of this. No scraps. So here you go. Oh, that's 9 through 14. That's not... The one I did first, I did one through eight first. Here we go. So first of all, we're gonna put these down and I'm gonna show you the ones that I did. Here they are, here they are. So my first one, there you go, there's number one, just says boo. There you go. I think this is cool. This is a love, no, actually this isn't love from Lizzie. This is plain old foiling. So what I did, see this is like a quarter of an inch ship strip ship there you go strip um so i put down some plain old double-sided tape i put double-sided tape on the circle and i foiled all of it and then i put the other circle on top of it and then i stamped that that is an uh clearly besotted stamp so there you go that's number one right there Maybe I should put this a little over so everybody can see them. There you go. This is number two. As I said, I make them exactly the way they're printed. So this one has a background, okay? It has the design in the middle. Again, this is from that love from, no, actually this one is um, the Boo Crew from MFT. That's where this comes from. And the Hello Beautiful, I like that. I like that one. So there's number two. Here's number three. This one is from Ink Road Stamps. I love this. Give me the candy and no one gets hurt. I liked all the ghosts in the background. I thought that was fun. So this one, this strip said that the paper was supposed to be going, you know, all the, all the things were going this way. But see, you can't even really notice that the paper's not going in the right direction. So there you go. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Same one on this one. Trick or treat! There you go. I like that. I don't have a, it turns out I don't have a skeleton stamp. Who knew? I don't have a skeleton stamp. Got to do something about that. So there's number four. Here's number five. It's got the strips going this way. I did, I did do a circle instead of a square because I had this lovely circle of bats that I wanted to use. And there it goes against the skeletons and it says, have a spectacular day. And that's from that clearly besotted set. So that's number five. Here's number six, more ghosty paper. So here's a circle, it says any shape, any one and a half inch shape, okay? Ghostly greetings, that's from the MFT set. I just, I really like that one. I love this whole set came out so cool and it's just very nice. So I'm gonna spread them out a little bit more, moving the coffee over so you all can see them. So there's one, two, three, four, four, five, six, and here's number seven. Okay, there it says happy haunting. This was another one of those Simon Says Stamp, Stamp Timber sets, but I like it. There's a little house, there's a little dude, a little vampire. He's like the only vampire I have, but I thought that one was cute. There you go. I did reverse these 
because, and I'm going to show you why, you notice like the paper continues? That's what happened on my strip. The paper continued that way for some reason instead of continuing the other way. So I just, I don't know, it's the weird way I cut it when I cut it. So I just put the little piece on top instead of on the bottom. You could do it either way. You know, I'm really thinking, but I also like the way the design came out then. So, you know, do what you can, do what you can. So there's number seven. And then this is number eight. So number eight said you had to have all your papers going this way. And you know what? I have enough of this paper. This is an old paper pad. It's an old 12 by 12 paper pad that I just cut new triangles. But these ones are actually going this way. And you can't really tell. You could tell on the hats. So that's what I did. And I liked the little cat wearing a hat. All these circles, by the way, came from the Halloween circles from Pretty Pink Posh. So there they are. There's all my cards. Let's move the mess out of the way. There we are, all my cards. Uh, one through eight. I love them. So all these circles came from Pretty Pink Posh. Not this one, but all these circles. Four, that's four out of the six circles. I really like them. So there we go. One, two, three. You'll see them again. I will take pictures. I'll put pictures. By the way, there is a Kendra's Card Challenge um, Facebook group. And that's where you can post all of these pictures, okay? So here we go. We're going to have 9 through 14. No, we're not. Yes, we are. There we go. And this is really interesting because these have, these two, which are mirror images of each other, you cut them out. You like, you cut out this part and then you cut out this part. And on this one, you did exactly the same. Now, I am left-handed. So I read these things and then they come out backwards, okay? So, yeah. So on this one, I cut it the right way. And on this one, I'm like, oops. Well, actually what I did was this is the back paper of this paper. So I just turned it around, okay? So this is number nine. And this um, comes from a, an old, old, it's a, a set called Hex Yeah from Rabbit Hole Designs. And there's a little witch and it says some days you just have to put on the hat and remind them who you're dealing with. And I know who I'm going to send this card to. I was a really, really close friend of mine. Um, and I just think it's really cool. So I'm going to send that to her for Samhain. So there you go. And this one just says ghostly greetings and has all the little ghosties coming out of the lawn fawn house. Now here's an interesting thing. I do not have the Halloween add on. I have the basic set and then I looked at the Halloween add on set and I just added ghosties and added little thingies and did what I wanted to do because you know what? You can do what you want to do. I do have the Christmas add on set because you know, I like strings of lights and things. But uh, you can do what you want to do. Yes, you can. So there you go. Ghostly greetings. So that's 9 and 10. Here's number 11. Here's the Boo Crew from, or Fabulous, uh, from uh, MFT. That's an old set. And this one is the Squad Goals comes from the Ink Road stamp set. But I thought that was cute. I thought that was really cute too. And now we're heading more back into that. Um, skeleton paper. So this one, this is a really old set from MFT, from their pumpkin set. And that's the one of the sentiments from it. I will have to put the name of it down below. I don't throw anything out. And uh, it's my pumpkin set. And you can make these pumpkins and it comes with the eyes. I didn't stamp the eyes very well. Um, so I redid them with things. My husband thinks I should put a face on this pumpkin too, but I'm thinking no. So there you go. I'm going to put, um, I don't have any more of this, of the Nubo drops, crystal drops, or any sort of deco glaze. And that's, I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. And here we go. Here's more of these guys. Yeah. That's the frightfully sweet set from MFT. Aren't they adorable? I love them. But as you can see, I cut it backwards. Yes, I did. I cut it backwards. And I could have turned it over because there's something on the other side, but I didn't like what was on the other side. So I did 
um, 13 and 14 this way, because I'm left-handed, yeah. So here's the first one, which is all the little MFT creatures. I like that one. And here's the second one, which is witching you the best day ever. There's those pumpkins again, see? And, and it comes with bats and it comes with a branch and a tree. And yeah, I just, I liked that. So, so there's the next six. So we had eight and then there's the next six. I loved making this whole set of cards. I really did. So not to worry. You're going to see them all again. Yeah. And then we have just 15, 16, and 17 left. Okay. And they're, uh, they're very interesting. So again, what I did, I, um, I did it backwards. I should have put all of these guys on the bottom. Okay. But my paper went this way rather than going that way. And again, the houses, like see this house matches up with this house. So instead of putting the strip on the bottom, I put the two strips on the top. And there you go. And there's that house again with little ghosties coming out of it. I love that. I did it just, I did it a little differently because I can. I love the little broken step I make. You just do that by cutting off the step and putting it there. And I also broke the roof. Did you see? I broke the roof. It's great. So, and have a spooktacular day. There they are. I like them. Okay, so that's 15. And here's another take on 16. Okay, so these are two dies from iCrafter. iCrafter is a great company. So this is from their lantern set. Okay, there's a little pumpkin and this little um, spider web. Didn't come with the spider. So, but if you buy their impossible box, that comes with a spider and you could have put the spider on there. So I made the spider myself. So the spider and the pumpkin are popped up and so is the happy Halloween. The happy Halloween comes from the... Um, Ink Road Stamps one, and there you go. That's yet another take on 16. There you go. I cut this, this was an extra strip because I was cutting more paper, so I had an extra strip of that to put in there. And then this is 17. I really like that. This one is from the, all of this is from the rabbit hole design set. So, but I really like that one too. So there you have it, that's all the cards. Yeah, so let's get them all out again. So you can see them all. We're gonna put all the, um, these guys on the bottom. So you can see them and we're going to, you know, sort of across the bottom. So you can see them and we'll put you know, these guys across the top, a little bit more. So they all came out really nice. We may have to do them in two sets because this is a lot of cards, you know. I like these because they're like sort of very simple or the boo. Um, and also remember, you know, this is like, this one, is a very simple piece of paper. You could do this out of a, um, a 12 by 12 piece of paper and just make them. This is a very simple, these are very simple pieces of paper. It's a background piece and then a scrap of paper. This one is a background piece and a scrap of paper. I mean, you could do these very simply and just make them as Halloween cards, you know? So um, once you got them going, you make them as Christmas cards. This one is all scraps. I mean, you could do this one as all scraps, you know? Um, that would be very cool too, you know? Very, very cool. So I don't know how to put all of these down because I'm running out of room. Yes, I am, I'm running out of room. So there's the ghostly greetings and the have a spooktacular day too. But, um, hmm, where am I gonna put these? Not there. So um, I do a really good job of alternating between which side I'm going to put the things on. Oops. Uh, yeah. So um, that's my cards. I hope you like them. If you want to see close-up pictures of them, I'm going to put them in each folder or slash album over on Facebook. Uh, and remember that if you take part in the challenges every month, 
in challenge number eight, there's a prize. Each month, um, and then there's a big prize at the end. Um, and there's some really good prizes, really good prizes. So you really kind of want to check this out, okay? So Kendall's Card Challenge on Facebook. And if you want the thing, if you want to go, you want to go to Cards by Kendra to get the printout, okay? So there you go. Nice seeing y'all. Thank you very much for stopping by. Remember to hit subscribe and hit that bell.